Welcome back to Let's Play FTL, The Kestrel Run. There was a little bit of a glitch, so you've missed about two minutes of the gameplay on my part. I apologize for that. But, in the intervening time, I've wound up in yet another asteroid field, attacked by another rock cruiser. Let's see if I can survive. Right now, I'm just trying to make do here. I don't... Ah! Why are the rock people always attacking my... Uh... Always attacking in there. A cloak. Good thing, too. I need to break their weaponry, otherwise they're not going to be able to get very far. By they, I mean I won't be able to get very far. A little worried about Menon. I'm gonna have Menon heal up a little. Oh. Good room for him to be in, I suppose. Since he's my resident guy who's good at fixing things. His skill is almost maxed out. Not much more before it is. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cloak now. Now I'll send him on to fix my cloaking system. Because it's technically operating, but it could be operating better. I need another shield. Oh, these rock people are making me mad with all their weapons. Okay, that one was about to fire, but fortunately, fortunately, I could make them switch to a different weapon before that one was fully charged. Ha! I missed with my burst laser, but the asteroid hit him. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I'm going to make sure I have the appropriate amount of power in these things. I'll let that ion energy leave the shield, I'm sorry, the cloaking system. So that next time I cloak, I can do it in style. You arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. Now that's a defense drone Mark II. Those things, if memory serve can shoot down not just missiles that are about to attack me, but also laser bursts. So that might be worth getting a drone system for. Ooh, someone's in distress. I won't leave this sector just yet. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. I don't fear danger. You find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated with ice or crystal. You send some crew aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or unidentifiable. But one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. It looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with the derelict ship. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do you take? The weapon and any spare scrap, or grab the stasis chamber? Oh, I'm not going to abandon this, this long slumbering, slumbering, this long slumbering passenger. I take the stasis chamber. Your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes into the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying the ship. 
The pod appears to be functioning, but you see nothing but shards of crystal inside. Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. I receive an augment, damaged stasis pod. I've seen this before. It's a good thing to let play out. I... Oh, although... Looking at where I am right now, I don't actually think I'm going to be able to uh, see the benefit from that. But it's a good... It's a, it's a good thing to find that. It's a good thing to find that. I might benefit from it. I'm just not expecting to. You have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Let's see. There's a store here, and I've got 100. Actually, before I go to the store, I'm going to go there. An advanced rebel, rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. I want those military goods. Attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. Oh boy, and this thing's got... This thing's got some firepower on it. I'm gonna need my breach weapon. Fortunately, my cloak is more than sufficient. Okay, let's pause here. The thing I'm most concerned about are the shields it has. It's got three whole shields. Man, I'm going to need some more weapons soon. Let's see if I can take out enough of their shields. Hopefully I won't miss. I missed, and now, now these things can target me. Okay, that was, that was a little close. Alright, next shot. And their shields are down by one. Okay. Let's see if that's enough for the burst laser to get through. I missed every time. This isn't going my way. I'm gonna... Manon, go there, and I'm gonna cloak for five seconds. I got one of the drones! Did you see that? I got one of the drones! Ha 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 ha! Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Manon, you go back there. I'm going to have another breach weapon go there. And that should just about do it. I'm the, I'm in the red, but I should be okay. Especially if I attack their drones now. That was helpful. I'll put out that fire. Oh boy. You, you can cloak. I don't need the breach weapon anymore. And their weapons are down. Shields are down. I'm gonna take care of this drone now. Drones are down! And last but not least, I'll go for a symmetry and get their engines. See if I can make it. Oh! Well, now I'll go for symmetry again and go for their piloting system, because the drones repaired a little. Excellent. You salvage what you can from the broken ship, 57 scrap. I'm glad I came here first. It, I was hurt. I was hurt here, but I'm glad I came here first. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Wonderful. Okay, I am going to send Mafan and Nazia to heal up because they've been taking it on the chin for the last couple of fights. I'm going to close this door here. I'm going to have Manon fix the oxygen thing. I'm glad that I bought the extra oxygen bar. I know I don't really use the extra oxygen bar, but... Uh, wait, no, I didn't mean for you to leave. Get back. You need your medicine. You need your medicine! I, uh, I'm glad that I bought the extra oxygen. I've not really needed extra oxygen, 
but because I had the extra oxygen bar, when my oxygen system was attacked just now, it only got rid of one bar. So I still had the baseline oxygen being pumped in. Now I can go to the store, now that I have 87 more scrap than I did before. A message arrives. Your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. <laughs> I, lo I love that one. I've seen that before, but it makes me laugh every time. And this is kind of disappointing to see. FTL Jammer, a hacking stun, and long-range scanners, some crew. I'm going to fix all and buy all their fuel. All their fuel for me. That's not, not quite... Not quite as well stocked as I had been hoping they would be. You are immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Well, what do you got for me? A space dock is under assault from the rebels. Although the dock is technically illegal within their laws, it's very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fighting rebels... Page and fuel and scrap. I, I can do that. They transmit the space dock's coordinates. Added a quest marker to your map. Let's see. That's over there. Okay, yeah. I can do that. Ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Uh, I probably don't need this much, but for only 12 scrap, I'm willing to. Thank you for your business. Jump up here. The system appears quite peaceful. You're not sure how long it'll last between the combined threats of the rebels and Mantis. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Who stores, stores, stores. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna check out these stores before I go on my quest. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Burst laser, okay. Breach bombs, I've already got that. Fire beam. And a Zoltan. I, I am a fan of Zoltan crew members. I'm a fan of Zoltan. I'm a fan of Zoltan. Burst laser is tempting. It's it's really, really tempting. Because an extra two, an extra two bursts of weapon fire wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, I shouldn't buy this right now, because there's still the other store to check out. But theoretically, I could sell this again. And if they have just something amazing at the other store, I I can sell a few things. So let's let's see what the other store has to offer. Ninji ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Drone control. Crew teleporter. Hacking. Okay, not bad. Not not amazing, but not bad. FTL jammer. Distraction with stealth weapons. Stealth weapons, you say? That sounds... That sounds useful. Ooh, I could afford that if I sold the damaged stasis pod, but... Ugh. Stealth weapons. I stealth weapons would be nice, but I don't think I need it, so I'm gonna pass on that. Well, I'm going to wrap up this episode of the Kestrel Run now that I'm in the safety of the store. Tune in next time when you'll see another thrilling adventure of the Kestrel Run.